In the heart of Arizona, a dramatic change is taking place. Once a barren and forgotten plot of land, this desert space has been transformed into a vibrant hub of growth and community. So that heat is one reason why people want to get the heck out of Arizona. With over 80 gardening plots, a youth garden, and even a farm-to-table restaurant, we are in Sedona, Arizona, and we are going to show you all of the best food and drinks that we have gotten a chance to explore. This thriving green area is offering much needed resources to a low income neighborhood. Gardening is a peaceful retreat from the stress of daily life. It's a way to connect with nature, also working with plants. Through the use of innovative desert farming methods, what was once a dry wasteland is now the most biodiverse garden in the region, improving the quality of life and creating a space for learning connection, and sustainability. The Desert Transformation In a region known for its harsh climate, this six-acre lot in southwest Tucson was once nothing but dry, barren land. For decades, it sat unused, between a community of trailers and a dry riverbed. Yet over the years, the residents decided to take matters into their own hands. They envisioned a green space, a thriving farm that could not only provide fresh food, but also serve as a hub for the community to gather and learn. By 2006, their project, Las Mill Peters, began to take shape on county-owned land. They used innovative desert farming techniques that have turned this once desolate area into a vibrant garden. What was once just dust and gravel is now a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The transformation didn't happen overnight, but with hard work, patience, and the right techniques, this land is now an oasis in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. This transformation is a clear example that even the most challenging environments can be turned into valuable resources, benefiting the community and fostering a stronger, more sustainable future. The project has not only provided access to fresh food, but it has also revitalized the land, transforming it from a forgotten, arid space into a thriving, biodiverse environment that benefits everyone involved. Desert Farming Techniques To cultivate food in the harsh desert environment, the community adopted specialized farming techniques that are uniquely suited to the region's extreme conditions. One of the most effective methods used is the sunken bed system. These garden plots are dug into the ground, allowing them to capture and hold water more efficiently. In a desert where rainfall is scarce, maximizing water retention is essential. The sunken beds act as natural reservoirs, ensuring that the plants receive the moisture they need without excessive water loss. Additionally, the project provides gardeners with essential irrigation tools and seedlings, which help them nurture their crops in the arid climate. Water conservation is a central focus, and the community has learned to make every drop count. By utilizing techniques like drip irrigation and mulching, the garden not only conserves water, but also creates fertile soil in an area that was once nothing more than sand and gravel. These desert farming techniques are helping the community thrive, proving that even in one of the driest places on Earth, it is possible to grow healthy food, build community, and sustain life. Community Impact the impact of this transformation goes beyond just providing food. It has reshaped the entire community. Located in a low-income area where many residents live in trailers and lack access to parks or fresh produce, the garden has become a lifeline. For decades, this neighborhood faced a lack of green spaces and was considered a food desert, meaning access to fresh vegetables and healthy food was limited or non-existent. But with the creation of the community garden, residents now have a local space to grow their food. This not only provides them with fresh, healthy produce, but also fosters a sense of pride and accomplishment. The garden has become a gathering point for neighbors to connect, share knowledge, and support one another. Through workshops and educational programs, local families are learning valuable skills, such as sustainable farming practices, cooking with fresh produce, and water conservation. The project has transformed not just the land, but the way the community interacts with it. It's a true example of how grassroots efforts can improve quality of life, promote health, and unite people, all while addressing the pressing issue of food insecurity. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Companion Planting and Biodiversity One of the standout techniques contributing to the success of the garden is companion planting. This practice involves growing different types of plants close together to help each other thrive. 
Certain plants attract beneficial insects, such as pollinators, while others repel pests, naturally protecting crops without the need for harmful chemicals. For example, planting basil next to tomatoes can help deter harmful pests that typically affect tomato plants, all while boosting the growth of both plants. This technique promotes a balanced ecosystem within the garden, contributing to its impressive biodiversity. According to the Sonoran Desert Museum, the garden boasts some of the highest biodiversity in Arizona, with a wide range of plants and animals flourishing in this man-made oasis. The garden has created an environment where everything works together symbiotically, plants, insects, and even the surrounding desert wildlife. This not only benefits the crops, but also contributes to the health of the entire ecosystem. The careful attention to biodiversity helps maintain a healthy, self-sustaining garden where the natural world and human efforts are in harmony. It's a living example of how thoughtful agricultural practices can enhance the environment, even in one of the most arid places on Earth. Water Harvesting and Shade Structures In a desert environment where water is scarce, Effective water management is crucial for sustaining crops. To address this challenge, the community has built innovative shade structures that serve a dual purpose, providing shade to plants and collecting valuable rainwater. These structures feature tin roofs equipped with gutters that funnel rainwater runoff into storage systems, allowing the garden to capture every drop during the rare desert rains. The rainwater is then used to irrigate the garden, ensuring that the crops receive the moisture they need without putting additional strain on local water supplies. This system of water harvesting not only conserves water, but also helps educate the community about the importance of water conservation. The shade structures also create a cooler microclimate for the plants, protecting them from the extreme desert heat and reducing evaporation. By utilizing these sustainable infrastructure solutions, the garden has become an excellent example of how communities can adapt to their environment and make the most of limited resources. Through these efforts, the community is not only growing food, but also learning. Education and Mental Health Benefits Beyond the physical benefits of growing food, the garden has become a powerful tool for improving mental health and fostering community well-being. Gardening has been scientifically proven to reduce stress, alleviate symptoms of depression, and promote a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. For many residents, especially those who have faced financial struggles or health challenges, the garden offers a peaceful retreat from the stress of daily life. It provides a space for them to connect with nature, get outdoors, and engage in activities that improve their mental and emotional health. As one gardener shares, the simple act of working with plants and spending time in the fresh air has become a form of therapy. Gardening is a peaceful retreat from the stress of daily life. It's a way to connect with nature. Also working with plants and spend time in the fresh air, it's a form of therapy. The garden also hosts a variety of educational workshops, from composting and irrigation techniques to cooking classes that empower residents to become more self-sufficient. These programs not only enhance their practical knowledge, but also help strengthen social connections among neighbors. By creating a space for both personal growth and community engagement, the garden has played a key role in transforming the lives of individuals, contributing to their overall well-being, and building stronger, more connected communities. Youth Garden and Farm-to-Table Meals the garden isn't just benefiting adults, it's also providing valuable opportunities for the younger generation to learn important life skills. One of the most inspiring initiatives is the Youth Garden, where local children are taught about farming, food production, and sustainability. Through hands-on activities, they learn how to grow food, understand the life cycle of plants, and gain a deep appreciation for nature. These educational experiences are crucial as they empower the next generation to make informed choices about food, health, and the environment. In addition to the youth garden, the farm-to-table model is making a real difference in the community. Fresh produce grown in the garden is used in meals prepared by local chefs, which are then shared with the community, providing nutritious meals for families. This initiative not only supports local growers, but also encourages healthy eating habits and a deeper connection to the food people consume. The farm-to-table meals create a bridge between the garden and the community, bringing together food, education, and shared experiences. 
This model is showing how a community can use local resources to nurture its people while teaching sustainable living practices to both young and old. The transformation of this desert space into a thriving, sustainable farm is a powerful example of what can be achieved when communities come together with determination and a shared vision. It has not only improved access to healthy food, but also strengthened the bonds between neighbors and provided vital educational opportunities. The impact on both the physical and mental well-being of residents is undeniable. As we look to the future, initiatives like this can be a model for other communities facing similar challenges. If you're looking to make a positive change, consider supporting local projects or exploring community gardening in your area.